And what about you? In this video, I'm going to show uh, a new tool that I got. There's it there, Draper Expert. There's a couple of manufacturers make this, and yes, it's an injector removal tool. And it works on an air hammer, not supplied. So this one is made by this company, Draper, and uh, there's another maker in the UK, Laser, that also make this. But I found uh, this Draper one is quite a bit cheaper than the Laser one. But uh, I think this is where they get you. Adapter attached, not included. So when you look at the price of all those adapters, they're uh, more than what the tool is. But lucky enough, I have a few uh, these adapters already. So there's it there in the vase, and uh, you get this thing here with it and uh, that goes into that mass thing that piece of mass i think that's pretty crucial that's pretty key to this the you know this thing working at all because you know as you know if you put an air hammer on anything uh, if you put an air hammer on that and try and reverse an injector diesel injector right on say just a bit of metal you know a metal bar if you made something like this yourself you know the metal flexing and twisting and pulling you know, it takes all the forces out of it. So a lot of those things don't work. But I don't know why this one here works with this uh, with this mass here on it. And uh, you can loosen that and turn that around and all sorts of stuff. So I have shown on the channel before pulling out diesel injectors and uh, use various methods, brass drifts, you know, wiggling it about and, you know, and uh, ultimately, if it's pretty seized, a slide hammer. But that slide hammer was pulling the arms out of me. And uh, yeah, I have a couple of jobs coming in pretty soon where I'm going to have to pull the injectors out and they're high mail cars so um, uh, I'm just trying to you know devise a method might speed it up so this is the C this video here is to see if this thing is going to be any good or is it garbage and as I said you need to buy adapters and I have a few adapter kits this one here is probably the ultimate one because it screws on there and then you know it adapts and screws on that there screws on so i have had them this these this slide hammer has a 5 8 unf thread on it so it's not a metric thread and it's a type of thread that you get you know it's like a fine thread it's the type of thread you get with sort of engineering tools you know so i went on to the flea bay our favorite marking place and uh you know i bought this wee thing here for a couple of quid so thinking that you know we'll be you know uh, well, make them in useful someday, you know, weld something on it, weld a bolt on it or a nut on it or some damn thing, I don't know. And uh, I bought that, which is, I don't know what that is actually for, but anything with a 5 8 thread then, you know, so we're able to screw it on and lock it into place. But I saw uh, this item being promoted on the YouTube by... Uh, the other company that makes this thing, uh, Laser, and uh, well, they did this wee experiment. To demonstrate the massive pulling power of the new Laser Tools Air Hammer Extractor, we have jammed a diesel injector tight into a vise. But this new solution from Laser Tools means business. But connect an air hammer to the extractor tool and the power and vibration of 2,200 hammer blows per minute literally rips the injector out of the vise. And they put a Bosch injector in a vase, like what we'll we'll have here, and they ripped it out of the vase. So I'm going to replicate that experiment. Now, the adapter that uh, they used in that video is a two sort of piece effort. So to make this sort of fair, I went uh, I actually bought this what they call a dual connection adapter and that's the the number of it there 5128 
if you're interested and uh, yeah let's see so you take the injector apart and uh, screw the bits in that's better so you have an inner and an outer adapter and the inner goes into the inside the injector and then the outer bit so you have these uh, two pieces here so I want to do this wee experiment because sometimes uh, some of the things you see, especially uh, promotional guys who are trying to sell products, well, you have to remain open-minded and sometimes a wee bit sceptical because, well, here's another video I saw on YouTube of a guy demonstrating a product and, uh, you know, well, if you look closely, it ain't what it seems. Here we have another demonstration on the YouTube. The guy's fitting his wee adapter there to this injector. And uh, he's going to put a slide hammer on it. So that's dead on. Screw the slide hammer into the top of the wee adapter. That's a great job. So far so good. Push the wires out of the way and all that. And power out. Gift. Uh, hold on a minute. Let's have a look at that. So he's screwing the injector on, the injector adapter on. And he's holding it with his finger because it's already moving about. Look at that. Mmm. Didn't float up the lagon on a bubble. And uh, when you're taking these injectors apart, this one's an older type. Uh, but it should work the same. There's minute wee bits in there and uh, you're better taking it about with a magnet so you don't lose anything because clearly you're going to take that apart when it's on the car. So if I can get that in there. If you lose any of wee tiny wee bits they're minute so they are. So this is a, this is a scrap injector, which uh, I keep for parts, but uh, it's good for experimenting with. So uh, the wee rings out of it. Right. Okay. That's dead on. So we'll get this. The exact adapter that was used in the in the first promotional video. We will give it a go. Wrong spanner. And this air bit then goes over that like that. And the old size is that. 30 mil. Right. Look at the air hammer onto this baby and uh, we'll see what it has to say for itself. I'll put a wee dab of paint on this to, so we can maybe see it better, see if it moves, you know. Did that move at all? Well, a bit of the vase broke off uh, or fell off. This wee vase has been through a few wars, like. So, on with the earmuffs. Compressors kicked in again, and uh, well, we'll give it our chance. Uh, she actually lo loosened up inside the bit inside the injector which sort of loosened this a wee bit so right all tighten up again and here we go again
Wow. Everything still seems to be tight enough. We'll give it another go. Right, well, there we go. Does it do what the advert says? No. So, right, experiment over. That's all I'm gonna do. It didn't come out of the pipe face. I didn't actually think it would have. So it has uh, smoothened that out a quite a bit, right enough. Uh, so it's good for that. Right, get that out of the way. So what I'm interested in now is is this injector all right? I think when I did it at the start, I mustn't have tightened the inner bit uh, enough. So let's see if I can uh, find the right spanner here. Jesus. I definitely tightened that. All right. So we'll unscrew this here. So, this is injector, all right. So, has it been moving at all? There's grip marks clearly where the vase has been. So, well, that doesn't really tell us anything. If the marks were starting to move, I think them, them marks are just me putting it in the vase before. And, oh, that's loosened up this bottom bit. Well, I don't know why it was loose. Before that, uh, anyway, yeah, that's been from before, but that, that's uh, the grip marks on this occasion, there and there. But the interesting thing is these threads here, these outer threads are still okay. No problem there. And uh, the other threads uh, seem all right. There's a, a different adapter here. Yeah, goes in all right. So the wee, the wee double adapter seems to be a good job. Pretty, pretty happy with that now. So that going in the inside of the injector and in this outer then stops that, you know, so it doesn't thread through that hole. It just threads into the inner. And you know, this here, I take it, is to stop that from, you know, weeble wobbling side to side, you know. So it's not putting any stress on these threads here. I think uh, the initial run I did uh, loosened up. I, I didn't have that tighten enough so uh, I had to give that a good a good swing on it and uh, it didn't loosen up again 
and that then you know goes down down onto that you know so and stops it from loosening maybe perhaps rather than just the uh the single tape adapter that just goes you know into the inside bit and that's it so it depends how stuck you are you know it's it's one of those things like but anyway for the wee promotional video to show up getting ripped out of a vase uh nah okay hold on hold on hold on we're, we're not finished yet right just a couple of things as you can see, I have my, the biggest slide hammer I have set up in the vase, same sort of setup. And uh, should have mentioned this earlier, this air hammer that I'm using, uh, it is well used indeed, well that's a medication, but that is the same air hammer, that is the laser air hammer that uh, those boys are using in that video. So we're going to give this a walt and see what happens. Well, there you go, in case you, th you thought it wasn't possible to rip an injector out of a vase. Well, there you go. And there's the marks on her there, where she's been gripping. So, anywho, this thing here is uh, for sale in the Amazon store, if you're interested. So much for that flipping thing. This never happened to the other fella. <laughs>